Hi Dino, thank you so much for speaking to us today. Um, can you tell us a bit about you know, what can um, fund managers do to help promote growth in the MENA region? That's, uh, that's a very interesting question and it's, uh, it's a very good one because at the end of the day, um, you know, the, the size of the fund management industry in the MENA region is actually quite small. Um, and, and the region is actually very wide and actually yeah. very different um, for in each jur jurisdiction. So, I mean, obviously the first answer is that they can always do better to promote the markets and, yes. and you know, to deliver better returns to investors. But at the end of the day, I think the most, um, the most effective um, role they can play is that of a lobby group, if you want, with uh, regulators that really need to have a much more, I think, uh, aggressive policy to, okay. to develop financial markets in this part of the world. And not just develop the markets themselves, but also yes. develop the, the infrastructure surrounding it, um, and especially non-bank financial institutions. And those all typically require a lot of legislation, mm. new regulations. And so in that sense, I think the uh, asset management industry, although it's relatively small compared to, say, mm. banks, they have, I think they're an important voice. Uh, yes. They represent the private sector. And they, um, they, they really should be, I think, a very strong advocate of um, reform when it comes to sort of um, different yes. uh, um, different participants in financial markets. Dino, you mentioned um, regulators. Do you see regulators being active to help the fund management industry? In general, I would say no. Okay. I mean, they've obviously done, uh, they are, regulation has improved in general. And I think the investment climate right. in general as well has improved over the past decade or so. But I think if we really want to achieve uh, the objectives that this part of the world needs, namely faster economic growth, increased jobs, uh, the ability to attract uh, private investment and foreign investment in meaningful uh, amounts, then much more needs to be done from a regulatory point of view. Right. And more needs to be done to promote uh, asset management companies and that's from fund regimes to the ability to market funds to regulations surrounding them to then also creating these different financial institutions whether it's pension funds, mm. insurance companies, all these different players that are actually very course, important yes. to develop you know deep and uh, uh, deep and, and liquid financial markets. Okay and I'd like to just ask you about asset classes. Um, is there any particular asset class that you think will flourish over the next few years? Um, well, I mean, you know, I think if we have economic growth, then clearly equities, you know, should be um, should be beneficiaries of that. But right now, I mean, in the immediate uh, sort of 12 to 24 months, uh, I think the cycle uh, kind of favors fixed income investment, principally because we are at a point ultimately okay. right now where growth is moderate to even having some challenges. Yeah. We also have multiple sources of risk coming from political developments um, as well as contagion from the rest of the world. Okay. And so I think that type of environment is actually quite uh, you know, conducive to having better performance on the fixed income side. So whereas we advocate sort of risky assets or real estate over the medium to long run, I think in the shorter term, I think fixed income and credit in the region should do relatively better than uh, equity markets. Excellent. Or at least, you know, help diversify, yeah. improve or optimize portfolios for investors. Sure, and obviously everyone wants to diversify, so that's Sure, important. especially today, that's what people are thinking. Excellent. Of. Thank you so much for your time, Dino. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye.